Welcome back to G Standard Gym, guys. Gabe Moen here, and we are going to be hitting chest today. Uh, this morning we hit back. Uh, we put some deadlifts in there. Uh, it was a thickness day, and uh, now we're going to work on uh, chest. And it's, we're just going to keep it simple, guys. We're going to keep it real basic. Uh, I'm going to start out here on the flat hammer uh, plate loaded press, and then we'll move on to the decline and so on and so on, and I'll take you guys through step for step. So let's get warmed up. As you guys know, I typically like to warm up around in the 15 to 20 repetition range, so I want to pick a weight that's manageable for that many reps, and then we'll fire off after that, okay? Here we go. <coughs> Now, I'm a little bit of a taller cat, in case you guys didn't know, I'm like six foot two, so I got a long reach. So on the hammer, what I'm gonna do, I'm a bit too shallow, a little too deep, so I'm gonna add another quarter underneath here, just for height, and lift these guys up. That way I don't need assistance, somebody dragging me out of the hole, so we'll do that. That's a little trick. This is gonna be a feel set. We're just gonna actually feel this out, maybe four to six reps, and then set it down and increase depending upon how it feels, so we'll see. <clears throat> you gotta put that, that disclaimer out there in case you fail at four. <laughs> Okay guys, this is a uh, decline press. It's gonna be hitting the lower pec region. Or that's where the emphasis is anyway. One, two, up. Surprisingly, I'll probably keep it there. Came up short on 12. Two days whipping my ass. All right, guys, here we go. Peck fly. We're gonna use my Arsenal 8 stack cross wire system right here. And as you guys can see, I have adjustable towers. That's beneficial to me because I, I don't always wanna hit it from an upward angle coming down. I like to hit it in a fly motion like I'm hugging a big tree. So I'll set it about shoulder height or maybe just a little below. This actually could come down just a smidge. And then what I'll do is you'll see me step out. I'll take a nice big sprinter stance like this and I'll lean into it and stay stationary and fixed. So, make sure we're even. Let's go, come on baby. 
Why does it feel like you're not even taking any weight off? Fuck. Okay guys, here's the last and final movement of the day. I actually did a few things in uh, different order today. Uh, typically, I, would, I wouldn't really end with a compound movement, but uh, thanks to my buddy Jack over here. My <laughs> he, uh, he talked me into doing one more exercise. So this is going to be a free motion incline chest press, and uh, I've already reduced the weight because uh, I'm going to uh, just work on repetition and forcing as much blood and nutrients into the muscle as possible. So staying real focused, being very conscientious of my form. You guys want to make sure when you're lining this up, when you're lining this up, you want to make sure that these handles aren't directly over your face. You want them out over your chest. So it, it reassures that you're getting a complete squeeze on the chest and not popping your head like a zit. Here we go. Or using your anterior delts for that matter. Here we go. Up. <coughs> couple half reps there just to burn it out but uh that's it for today guys on chest it's a short and sweet one when you're split training there's no need to drag it out to an hour and a half two hour workouts each you're not going to have anything left so make it short and sweet and heavy and then uh, get out and go feed the body and sleep so Gabe Mullen once again here Pacific Northwest Mecca G Standard Gym Tacoma Washington Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys like this series, and we'll be back. Thank you.